As you can see guys, I'm not in a game, um, my wife um, uh, still ill, etc, uh, been to hospital, etc, and uh, as a result couldn't get there, and uh, I've missed the last two, and uh, as I said in the last one, thank fuck for that, I mean, I think I'd be committing suicide now, coming back, you know, full well, I wouldn't be getting back till one or two o'clock or whatever, I mean, that was just an absolute fucking joke, wasn't it, that was an absolute disgrace, disgrace. I mean, we've shipped seven goals against Bournemouth and Watford. I mean, I don't care how you look at it. It's shit. Absolute shit. That was one, probably one of the worst performances I've seen from a Chelsea team since the time when the players weren't playing, quite evidently, for Jose Mourinho. And uh, just so many shit performances and just, just complete and utter lack of endeavour, lack of energy... Uh, Courtois positioning, his the way he was, all the the way they're uh, fucking about at the back, and they're playing it all slow at the back, and these suicide passes to just making the goalkeeper just clearing them from defence, and then when we're in possession, we're, we're giving away a fucking throwing right up by the fucking corner flag because they're pressing us every time we get the ball, we're fucking playing it around like we've got all the time in the fucking world, which we fucking haven't. And, uh, and they're dispossessing us, and they obviously want it more. Watford want it more than us. Just sums it up, really. Um, what's the fucking point in fucking going on about all, all throughout this completing out a window, you know, about a target, man, and then leaving them on the fucking bench? So we go into the last game with a false number nine because of the Michi Bashiwai situation, because we can't fucking get that one right. And we, we, we send him off to Dortmund, which, by the way, he goes and gets two goals in his first game. OK, fair enough. We buy a Libra Giroud, and then we leave him on the fucking bench. Fucking ridiculous. Absolutely fucking ridiculous. Baki Oko, I'm sorry, I've defended him. Absolutely defended him. Like fucking, like, like, like no other player. But honestly, that first half hour on the pitch for him, I think everything he'd done was wrong. Every pass was either setting them up for a chance or fucking knocking one of their players over to get two yellow cards in the space of half. Just ridiculous, just ridiculously, you know, well done, Vaki Yoko, because, you know, you put those players under pressure. But even with ten men, we should be beating Watford. I don't give a shit. They're decent enough, good enough players there, and um, just didn't want it enough. And, um, you know, to be, I've, I've got to be slightly honest with you. I thought Watford were, were really good for that tonight. Thoroughly deserved it. Well played to Watford. Not taking anything away from you. You know, you played great. But we are our own enemies right now. Shit within seven goals against mediocre opposition, let's be honest, and, um, and we're not going to get in the top four at this rate, we really aren't, and I, I really am now starting to think now that something sinister is going off uh, behind the scenes and we've got another fucking situation what we had two years ago, because it just doesn't fucking, none of it fucking feels right now, and Tony O'Connor's fucking body language looks shit, he looks angry, looks pissed off, looks upset. Players don't look fucking animated at all. They all look like they're pissed off. David Luiz, fall out with him. For, fell out the start of the season with fucking Diego Costa. Look, do you know what? I love fucking Antonio Con. I love his passion. I love everything about him. Where's that gone? Where's it fucking gone? It's gone. It's disappeared. Where's it, where's it gone? You know, listen, I mean, if this is a bad season, then, like, top four, still in the Champions League, semi finalists of the League Cup, FA Cup, darling, 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 but I think it's kind of painting a bit of a false picture, to tell you the truth, because I think this Premier League is a shit league. I think it's a shit league with, um, you know, a, a couple of decent clubs, if that. If you can cast your mind back, right, to 2008, you think of the Man United side, you had a place in the Champions League final, Rooney, Tevez, Ronaldo, Ferdinand, Vinic, just good, good great players. Uh, Schmeichel, blah, blah, blah. Look at us with Balak, um, Drogba, Lampard, younger Lampard, Ashley Cole, Czech, Essien. Uh, if you remember Liverpool, they had, they had you know, like Torres and uh, they good, really good players, like, you know what I mean? And, you know, top four English sides, just high quality, Arsenal, Pires, Lundberg, Henri, Bergkamp, um, 
you know, darling, darling, do. And you look at it now, like, and you look at those clubs, and like, maybe they've got one world class player, maybe two. I think Man United have probably got a couple now. Now they've got Sanchez, like De Hoya, the the, the gay robber, um, and possibly Pogba. We've got Hazard, possibly caught, possibly caught you know. But um, I don't think it's a particularly strong league right now, and I think we are just an average side and, and unless we sort this out we're going to get absolutely fucking pinged by Barcelona absolutely pinged in the Champions League and I could be flying out there for the second leg just to go and visit the town because it's fucking over you know um, so I don't know what to be doing with Globe and all that but clearly something's not fucking right you know, we've lost to some absolute shit this season you know all right, Burnley first game Crystal Palace away Fucking joke, you know what I mean? Just, I don't know, because thoroughly, thoroughly, thoroughly cheesed off right now. Um, and uh, as I say, I'm just so fucking blessed, I'm happy, happy um, that I wasn't there today, because I would have been there, as you know, and I wouldn't have been getting home until 2, 3 in the morning, and I'm just fucking buzzing. I've not got to go through all that as well. At least I can turn the telly off now and try and half a care. Hi, I'm Kerry Dixon. Um, 193 goals for Chelsea. Don't forget to, to subscribe on Chelsea SW6.